Hello there everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Green Mahim and today I'm bringing you part 71 of Let's Play Pokemon Reborn. So in the last episode we just finished exploring around the city and seeing all of the new things about it, talking to people, and we found Victoria. So now we've found the three people that uh, Arme asked us to go and find. Now we're about to go back in the Grand Hall and meet up with all of them. So, uh, if you do enjoy the video please leave a like rating down below to show your support. And be sure to leave a comment uh, giving tips, advice, opinions, or letting me know about any event Pokemon I have missed up to this point. Now, let's go. They should all be in here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, here we are. There's Adrian and Arme. Victoria was by the grave, but I don't know where Ark went. I think he said he was going to be at some meeting place, if I remember. While we're waiting for the others, there's something I was curious about. If, if I was gone for so long, why didn't you replace me? Surely if the league was still going, you would have needed a new fairy leader. Um, the thing is, I actually did replace you. Oh? Oh? I'd love to meet the new, or rather, old leader. Yeah, about that. Nobody's seen or heard from him since the incident in Jasper Ward. Huh? Um. Hmm. I can't think of who that would be. It seems pretty likely that he didn't make it. Then you came back before I finished arranging a replacement. Nice timing in that regard. Ah, uh, I'm sorry to have brought up something like that. The others should be here soon, right? Nope. So Arclight is meeting us there. Assuming he takes the low way, that should be alright. Sorry if I kept every anyone waiting. Oops. Arclight's not coming here, but he already knows, so this is everyone. Is something going on? Here's the situation. We received an anonymous tip that Team Meteor still has a base in the city right under our noses. Devon? Devon? Devon. Oh. How did you know? For my part, it's the only logical place left. I've been all over the rest of the city pretty intimately, but Devon Corp is the one place that's always restricted anyone from working around. Even the storefront just looks shifty for what's supposed to be an international company. Sweetco invested heavily in the restoration and even Sylphco was generous enough to donate funds. The fact that Devon still refused after that also made me suspicious. Yes, well it's no longer just a suspicion or anonymous lead. I took the liberty of calling Mr. Stone with a business inquiry regarding Devon's reborn branch. And of course, he informed me that no such thing exists. Then it's settled. We can shut it down for good. I never expected it to be Devon, that's quite cool. Before that, there's one more thing. Our informant also told us that the leader of Team Meteor is hidden there right now. So that means Lin's there, huh? Well, shit. Oh, they're, they're, no, I'm pretty sure they mean Lin. <laughs> Solaris. I won't hold back. No, it's Lin. Yeah, I thought so. From what Sephira has told me, we can't take any chances with her. That's why I need all of you. And that's why I'm going too. Oh? I thought you said you intended to stay on the sidelines. It's true that I intended to do that originally, if Arme's the champion. <laughs> but at this point, if we can end all of this now, I'll do whatever it takes. Oh no, it is her. I never saw that coming. Oh, oh until now. Wow. Besides, as the champion, I can't just do nothing, right? Sorry, Vero, didn't you know? It's not something I like to toss around or brag about. But I did restart this league after all. And who did you, who did you think runs the trial battles for leaders? Anyway, it's really not important. Right now, we need to focus on Devoncorp. I've already talked over the details of Arclight, so here's the plan. The main level is probably fairly secure, even if they don't want it to be seen. So we're going to take a pincer movement with one group in the front and another approaching from the basement level which connects to the rail net. We'll rendezvous in the middle and tackle the upper floors together. Any questions? How are the groups decided? You and I will take the storefront. If we pretend to be there on city restoration business, it won't be suspicious. Vero, Victoria, and Arclight will come up under and behind them. If we all work together, they don't stand a chance. I'll show Team Meteor the same mercy they showed Kiki. Then we're set. Let's not waste any time. You know, if I knew Arme Am uh, was the champion, I would have given her a voice. But now she's just got my voice now. So. <laughs> yeah. Plus, it's the creator, and I don't really want... Well, it's a character based on the creator, and I don't really want to force 
a voice onto the creator when I don't know what they sound like, you know? So, I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just, I'm just going to carry on with the voice I've been giving her. Now, I was about to go over there, but before I do that, I need to get in my PC right now. Because there is absolutely no way in hell that I am going to fight the leader, the true leader of Team Meteor, without getting out my Pokemon. There is absolutely no way. I need a full team. So who am I bringing? That's the big question. Lucario. Espeon, Magnetrix, Sceptile, Whiskash. I'm thinking I should bring Houndoom, because I think Fire is going to be pretty integral. But at the same time, I might need Umbreon's bulk, so I'm honestly not sure. You know what, just because Houndoom is the highest level here, I'm going to bring Umbreon. But if I need Houndoom, I will have to come back. This is scary. This is actually scary. We might have to fight Lin. That's a scary thought. Solaris had Garchomp and Tyranitar. And we've all we've seen of Lin is that she has Hydreigon. Solaris had an incredibly powerful team, so I can only... I don't even know. I have no idea what to expect from this. Were you checking on us, Pharaoh? Don't worry, we're going to be just fine. Head on down to the rail net and we'll get started. We're ready. Once you, Victoria, and Arclight are, in, Arclight are in position, we'll head in there and draw their attention. Demon's basement entrance should be somewhere in the underground rail net. You can find it, right? The others are there waiting for you. Okay. Well, give me one moment, guys. Alright, might be about that. I just wanted to make sure that I was completely prepared for this, so I had to do a couple things first. Ah, <laughs> never a dull moment in this place, is there? No, I think I'm going to need to teach strength off the bat, just so I can get back in here. But fortunately, that's fine, because my neck trick can learn that. So, let's do it. I hope I don't need waterfall or dive in this place. Blah, 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 blah. Kind of surprised Umbreon can't learn strength, actually. Alright, let's push it out of the way. Let's go. Did I not use a repel? I thought I used a repel. I guess I still have to use another repel. Amazing. <coughs> Where are my repels at? I only have one. <laughs> but I have plenty of max repels, so it's fine. How do I access Devon? It won't be... Okay, the stairway's sealed. I can't go to the Ureo building anymore. Fair enough. So how do I access their thing? Hmm. Oh, if I go to the right here, that will lead to Spinel, won't it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure this isn't the way I'm meant to go. So that means it's got to be somewhere around here that gets the... It might just be where the train is, honestly. Might just have to go past the train to get to the Devon area. If I had to guess. Then again, the train is blocking the way, so is that really right? It's either that or down in the Aron room. But I honestly don't know. I will find out, though. It's from some... Huh? Oh! Apparently there's a button that speeds up the game. I wasn't even aware of that. Huh. Maybe that's why I kept uh, speeding the game up before. Apparently if I press Alt, I can speed the game up. Bizarre. I didn't know that. Alright, let's see. Does this actually connect to the train? It should do, right? Yeah. So I should be able to get in that room now. So let's just speed our way there. Here we are. Now I need Flash again. Annoyingly. But understandably. There's going to be all these Aron in here again. But uh, hopefully Ark and Victoria will be here too. Honestly, I might have to enter from the other side of the rail net. I may have gone too far in already. <laughs> 
I might have just been going the wrong way this whole time because I entered from the wrong entrance or something. Although I'm really hoping that's not the case, because that would be pretty annoying. There's still... Uh-oh. Okay, I have questions. First of all, why are you down here? Second of all, who's going to die? Uh, I... Oh, no. Seeing that, seeing him there has actually made my heart race now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I don't see Ark dying. Um, I don't see Arme dying because she's the champion, so that would just be weird. It's going to be Adrian or Victoria, I think. Or Lynn, because, uh, you know, it was in Shade's gym that, gym that Lynn would die, but then Shade said that Lynn wasn't going to. So, I don't think it is Lynn, but it could be. Honestly, I don't even know. It might even be Tucker, because if Solaris is here, Tucker probably is too, so Tucker could be the one to die. Or Zell, I don't, I don't. It could honestly be anyone. It could honestly be anyone. And that's a scary thought. Usually, deaths can be predicted to an extent, but like in this situation, I don't think any of the deaths actually can be. Like, I just... He... What? I know we're raiding Meteor's base, so it makes sense he appeared, but like... The only one we could have expected was... Lin. <laughs> but it can't be Lin. Because Shade has straight up told... He straight up told us that Lin isn't going to die, because Amaria didn't die. So, unless Kiki didn't die, but w we saw her die, but unless she didn't die, then Lin has to. No, no, Lin can't, I mean. If Kiki didn't die, Lin will, but I'm pretty sure Kiki's dead. <laughs> so that means Lin can't die, so that means one of us is going to be dying this time, probably, or one of the admins, maybe, even. Oh, no, I don't know. You got the lowdown, right? I got a radio come here, and the others of the receiving piece. When I send the signal, we'll bust in at the same time. If the information I go was true, we might be in for a lot of tough battles. But if we can do this, then we can end everything right here and right now. That means once we go in, there may not be any turning back. So make absolutely sure you're ready first. You set to do this? No, I want to talk to Victoria first. That's fine. The others will wait for my signal. Rest now so you can keep tempo when it counts. You're here. Our entrance is right behind us. Arclay has the signal, so talk to him when you're ready. Okay, what I want to know is why we're raiding Meteor's base with five people. Like, I know we don't want to bring a lot of numbers because they'll notice, but at the same time... Lynn is here. Lynn, potentially Solaris, potentially every fucking admin. But Lin alone is threatening enough. I know Arme's the champion, but like Arme never fights. So I don't even know the extent of her skill. I don't know the extent of Arclight or Adrian either, but if Adrian got trapped underground for 10 years, then I doubt he's going to be enough to take on Lin, and I know for a fact that Victoria's not. I honestly don't know. Why? Why didn't we just get more people? We could have asked Safira. Or Kane. Where the fuck is Kane? He's still with the kids in Calcinon, right? We could have asked him for help. Oh, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to make do. Let's go, Ark. We got this. Good. You go ahead. I'll radio the others and be right behind you. I'm with you, Vero. It'll be just like when we were fighting together before, right? If you're going to be anywhere near as stupid as that, then I'm not looking forward to this. Only this time, I'll make sure the scales are tipped in our favor. You better. Oh. Oh, finally someone shows up. About time. It's a shame we have to make them leave right away. Not a chance. There's not a Pokemon in this world strong enough to toss us aside. Sorry, Team Media, but it's time to take this show off here. Alright. Huh. I don't know how they knew we was coming in here, but clearly, uh, they got, t they must have gotten tipped off somehow if they knew we were going to be here. 
Right, Clefay Boy's pure fairy type now, if I'm not mistaken. So Lucario's not going to help me here at all. Um, there's a Grumpig in front of me, alright. Um, Umbreon, go. Clefay Ball might hurt you with a Moonblast, but Gallade will probably take the Clefay Ball out because there's not really much it can do to the Grumpig, so... I'm going to take care of Grumpig while I let Victoria take care of Clefay Ball. This shouldn't do too much. Nope. Youch. <laughs> Alright, bye at Grand Pig. <coughs> okay, why would you do that? Victoria, I'm questioning you again. Even if you did take it out, I'm questioning you. Why? What you whatever move you used before worked perfectly fine. I think Umbreon's still got the experience share, hasn't he? That's probably why he game boosted experience. Because I don't think anyone's holding the Lucky Egg right now. Someone might be. <laughs> Go look. Okay, Gallade, I'll let you take care of that thing too. I can bite it, but I can also take out Grumpig with another bite. Whereas you cannot do anything, and now you're dead anyway. Phantom Force, huh? That was definitely going for me. Er, uh, for him, even. It was going for Gallade. Embor. Alright, I am going to go for Grumpig again. Okay, that... Victoria. Victoria, please. What are you doing? Oh, man. Oh, man. We just got hit with Teeter Dance. That's not good at all. Come on, Umbreon. Pull through. Yes. Good man. Alright, what now? Alakazam, huh? Alright, that isn't going to be very good for Victoria at all, so I've got to take care of that thing first. All these psychic types. Well, Victoria's still just a mono-fighting trainer by the looks of it. This isn't good for her whatsoever. Alright, you catch this too. That's right. Alright, there we go. Eat that. Oh. That did a lot of damage, actually. Right, Mean Shell, could you turn Alakazam? There we go. That's fine with me, because now my bite will land on Golok. And it won't take out any more of her Mon. That was actually a very good move to use. Alright. Drain Punch, huh? That's attacking me, that's fine. Umbreon can take these hits, because he is physically defensive. But, uh, now he can't move. Alright. Also fine. If he's going to use Drain Punch, uh, I'm going to go into Espeon. Because Crafty's probably going to crunch it. And if it doesn't take it out in one, then I can take whatever hit he does. Oh, crit. Cool. Right. Maybe I should have went into Scepter. then. <clears throat> whatever. Discharge. Ouch. That might hurt me. That might actually hurt me. Yikes. Oh, that didn't do anything. Not bad. Durant. I'm going to attack Lantern. Because I can't do anything to Durant. Or I can take out of another one. Oh, that. Oh, okay. It's got Hustle. Good. I think that saved me. I think that actually saved me. <laughs> Pretty sure I wouldn't have lived an Scissor from that thing. Especially with Hustle. Oh, no. I think Durant might actually outspeed me now. Please, no. Oh, God. God, no. Well, goodbye me. Victoria should heal me after this battle, so I'm not too worried about losing my Mon, but... Damn. Alright. Now, I'm going to have to send in... Um... See, I want to send in Sceptile, but if I do that, Durant's just going to shit on it. So, what I'm thinking is I'll send in Lucario. And I will take out Durant with an Aura Sphere. And then Scrafty can hit Lantern with whatever the fuck it's going to use. I am slow anyway, so I do not care. Come to think of it, I can actually change Lucario's nature in the Lapis Sword. Or in the 7th Street. I, can, I totally forgot to do that. Um, I'm going to make a quick, quick note of that. Because I need that 
All right, change Lucario's nature. Right, I'm going to do that when I get the chance. I really should have done it before challenging Tim Meteor, but I honestly forgot all about it. Um, not really much Lucario can do here, so I am going to go into Manectric. Not really anything Golurk can do against it. However, I can attack Venomoth and Scrafty can take out Golurk. That might kill me. Okay, it didn't, but that's annoying. Hmm. I'm going to use Flamethrower on... On Golurk, because I see that as a bigger threat to me right now, because that did over half my health. But I hurt myself anyway. Brilliant. My neck trick, that was a wonderful performance right there. Amazing. Dynamic Punch has a uh, full accuracy right now, it seems. Alright. Back into Lucario, then. Didn't really want to keep out against Venomoth, because it's not much. there's not much it can do, but, like... Uh, you know... Not really anyone else I can go into either because Venomoth just shits on them all. So Lucario is the best option I have right now. <clears throat> oh wow, that's two hit KOs. That's a surprise actually. A very nice surprise at that. Oh, have you got someone else to go into? Ooh. Oh, you have a Toki Kiss now. That's cool. And uh, apparently her mean shell has Regenerator as well. That's going to be a bitch to fight if I have to fight Victoria again. Was that enough? They really should be paying us more for this. Easy. You all are dismissed. This conflict is over now. Embor! No time to lose. Let's hustle. Alright then. Pity, that was the most fun I've had in weeks. You guys couldn't have found this place sooner? I would have thought twice about taking this job if I knew I'd be facing you again. There's not much point in a battle like that. I learned that much in the first fight I saw you in at the orphanage. Just because Dr. Connell's got unwrapped up in Team Meteor, does that really mean we have to? But since the orphanage has been on temporary close, I'd be out of a job otherwise. Hey, isn't that your fault too? Uh, I suppose, partially. Oh, there's a ball there. I'll have to remember that. I'll have to come back and get that. Right, how's my team looking? Good, good, good. <coughs> Alright, let's go. Ame and Adrian should have finished dealing with the storefront by now, but... They're not here? I don't see them. Maybe they went on ahead. I go ahead just far enough to see if they're up there. Vero, check the storefront for me. Victoria, you watch our exit in case anyone comes to us, separate us that way. I don't trust this. Be safe. Let's not go too far. Do you really think it's okay to let those three downstairs go? To be honest, I was expecting more of a fight. No. They're already gone, too. Yeah, there's something shady about this. They knew we were coming. Oh. Well. Oh, there's something here. Radio transceiver. Oh, God. Um, that's not good at all. They took out the meteors. Or well, someone took out the meteors. A radio belonging to Arclight? Why the hell is that at the front here? It belongs to Arclight, yet it's at the front of the store? And now Victoria's gone. What? Did she go on ahead? Oh, this is weird. Call it Karma. You had that last coming to you. Thanks for the backup. It's nothing. I heard fighting from downstairs and I wasn't about to just stand by. Vero, any sign of him? Let me see that. No doubt about this. This is the Radio Island Army. Tch. <laughs> so I couldn't even send a message to him. Did they really have to drop this? You don't think they were overpowered, do you? Between the champion and the gym leader, that's hard to imagine, but... No, they have to be fine. We'll probably find them if we keep going. As for this room... I think I get it. Damn. Are you okay? Yeah, it's nothing. Wouldn't recommend stepping on those, though. Let's see. Yeah, it's like I thought. This terminal up here controls the patterns on the floor. Let's see it. Oh. Three patterns. 
From what I can tell here, there are multiple floors. And the only way to steer them is from right here. What a mess. Beryl, that radio still works, right? I'll stay back and man this thing. Press the A button to use that device to signal me whenever you want to rotate the floor's pattern. Oh, like that. Cool. <laughs> I'll be counting on you two. I get the feeling this puzzle might go sour if we try and do it at the same time. So you go ahead and then I'll trace your footsteps and timing when you're done. Alright? Alright, let's go then. Oh. Okay, somehow I messed that up. The only thing that will be wasted is Team Meteor. Is that the attitude that you teach down at that tawdry school? I'll be happy to give you a lesson right now. Yeah, Victoria definitely seems different than normal, but considering she's fighting against the people who just who, who killed her master, I can understand. Alright. I don't exactly know what the timing on that puzzle was, but it seems like my team got hurt for it. Uh, I'm gonna aura sphere that scun tank. That might take it out, but if it doesn't, I can finish it off. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, I won't be using aura sphere on a meow stick then. Amazing. Oh. You know, I could probably go and change Lucario's nature right now, honestly. I don't think anything's actually stopping me from going back and swapping out teammates or doing that, you know. Alright, I'm going to attack Crawdon. I figured that was coming, but whatever. Doesn't hurt to be safe. Especially since, again, I'm going to be healed after this battle's done anyway. Alright, Aura Sphere on Meow Stick. Go! Oh. <laughs> that did nothing. Damn. Well, bye, Lucario. Okay, so next is Umbreon, because there is a Meow Stick right in front of me. And a Hypno. Alright, I'm attacking the Meow Stick first. And so is she. She has all the same ideas I do, apparently. Victoria, we're on the same page right now. Not bad. Your Gallade's also amazing, by the way. Or oh, that Hypno's slower than both of us. I don't like that. Agron. Yowch. Yowch. Okay, that might flinch Gallade. Or, or that might kill Gallade. Oh. Wow. Can't say I expected that. That being said, though, she's a, she's a full-on fighting trainer, so any fighting move could probably take that thing out right now. That, how did that do nothing to me but wipe out her Gallade? Does her Gallade have that little defense? Okay, Victoria, now, now I'm questioning you. Why? There's an Aggron. Can't I go to... I can go to level 80 now, right? Or is it level 85? I can't remember. I think it's 80. Come to think of it, I still have quite a few leaders to fight. There's Sephira, there's Adrian. What fight? What types haven't I fought yet? Oh, there's Titania, there's Hardy. Yeah, that's four leaders. Wait. Yeah, I think that's it. I think those are the only four I have left to fight. I think I only have four badges left, if I remember correctly. Or am I wrong? I don't know, I have to check. I think I'm on... I think I'm on 12. So that should be six, and but I'm not. I'm honestly not sure because I fought Terra and CL. Um, I'll check after this match. Those are the only four leaders that I can think. Oh no, there's a Maria. No, that's five. A Maria, Hardy, Safira. All right, I think I got it. I think I know. So there's a Maria. There's Hardy. There's Safira. There's Titania. Um, okay, no, never mind. I'm forgetting again. Right, Titania and Amaria, that's two. Sephira, that's three. Hardy, that's four. I know them four. Um, what other types haven't I fought yet? Uh, I'm just looking at the types I've got now. I've fought all these types. Except for Steel. Um. Fuck. What else is there? Adrian, right. That's five. Yeah, Adrian. 
And I think Anna was the last one, but I'm pretty sure Anna was a fairy type trainer as well. But that's what Adrian is. So what type would she be? You know what? I'll worry about that after. I honestly can't remember all the types right now that I've already fought. I mean, I could think about it now, but I don't remember everyone I've fought. Julie is electric. Florini is grass. Um, there was Corey who's poison, but he didn't count. Uh, who was next? Kiki didn't count either. There's Shade. He was a uh, ghost. Oh, you know what? I'll look at my badges in a minute. There's no point trying to figure this out. Uh, I'm not remembering everything I need to be. And I, I keep losing Mon thinking about this. I'm not concentrating. I mean, I'm not even seeing what they're sending in, but still. Like, it's not telling me what they're sending in, so it's only natural I'm not going to see what they're sending in. Mean shell, huh? Alright, that thing should take... Oh, wow, I outsped Mean Shell. I, I, I know that Sceptile was amazingly fast, but I clearly underestimate its speed. Oh, oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> oh, I didn't get hurt. Never mind. Alright, X is a go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Knock off. Yowch. Alright, I think we're done, aren't we? That should be it. Yeah. So violence is your answer. Defiant as ever, aren't you? Can you two hear me on this thing? I heard fighting from down here. Are you alright? Yeah, we're fine. Didn't I tell you there's no way I'll lose to Team Meteor ever again? That's music to my ears. There's another one of those floors up here. Can you handle it? Sure can. <laughs> it's not even a factor. You know what to do, Vero. Get away from me, you both reek of hypocrisy. Whether it's the spirit or the psyche, both can break in time. Or the psyche, whatever. Just what purpose does this kind of thing serve, anyway? I can't imagine it was put here just to slow us down. Hmm. Good point. Alright, I'm gonna put Espeon in front, because it's... ...low on experience compared to the others. Right, what are the badges I've got? Alright, so there's... ...Electric Grass... But, wait, no, that there are only five left. Dragon, water, fairy, steel, and rock. That's it. Okay. Um, I imagine Adrian's next, since I'm fighting with him right now. And I'm pretty sure Sephira's gonna be last. Because Sephira's fucking strong. Alright, I need to check the floor. Alright. What? Oh. oh, I get how this works now. Okay. Ah. This makes sense. You can't move. You can't move when the colors change, otherwise, you'll get hurt. Ah, I got it. I was trying to run. I was trying to run before it finished changing colours because I thought I'd get hurt if I didn't. But that's not how it works. There we go, I, I'm getting this. Oh shit, went the wrong way. <laughs> <clears throat> right. I'm getting it. Alright, there we go. Victoria, help me. How much longer do you intend to flounder around in affairs well beyond your ability? You wanna see just how far this ability goes? Ah, is someone getting riled up? What would Kiki think? Don't you dare act like you know her. As long as you side with Team Meteor, you're not even fit to speak her name. Wow, Victoria's really pissed right now. I think this is the most riled up I've ever seen her. Like, normally she'd just be sort of like... Uh... I don't know. Not laid back, but like, she, she seems a little bit like, I don't know, res I don't know how to word it. Hesitant. She seemed, she seemed a little hesitant. She's, in all the time she's tried to stop me, she's been, you know, adamant to stop me. But at the same time, she seemed sort of hesitant about it. But now she's just giving no fucks and destroying everyone in the way. 
I think that just says how much she cares about Kiki, really. Thanks, man. You know, I could have sworn that I put SB on... Oh, wait, no, I switched it out, didn't I? Never mind. So I switched out just to die, is that it? Alright. Alright, let's take out these things with discharge. Hoorah! Sorry if I hurt you, Gallade. I won't lie, I honestly didn't expect to take Slowbro out. <coughs> wow, her Gallade has terrible defenses. God damn. Well, whatever. Decent experience. <laughs> Go look again. Reuniclus. All right. This calls for an Umbreon. She took that thing out in one. I'm pretty impressed by that. I didn't think Embor had the ability to do it, but it does. Not bad. Alright, uh, Sigilith. That's gonna really hurt Embor, so I'm gonna... I, I said I was gonna go for that thing, but then it outspeeds me anyway, so that was a pretty bad idea, thinking about it. I should've just tried to flinch Reuniclus. But as long as she takes this thing out, it's worth it. Question is, is Reuniclus gonna attack Embor or me? The answer is Embor. As, I, I hope that thing doesn't know Focus Blast. I'm not trying to die. <laughs> Empoleon. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Espeon's got, uh, not Espeon, Empoleon's got race stats now. That's always good to see. Always good. Oh, Flash Cannon picks up electricity. I did not know that. It's fine, though. Okay, come on, dude. What's that thing going to do to either of us? Attack the Empoleon. <laughs> God damn it. Now there's a fucking cling clang right in front of us and there's nothing we can do about it. Well, there's something you can do. There's nothing I can do about it, I mean. Wish. That Empoleon's going to hurt me. Hmm. Is it attacking Empoleon? I mean, high jump kick would have done more, but I see what you're going for. Come to think of it. No, I think I can actually take it out of a bite now if it doesn't attack me with this move. Which, naturally, it did, because this game does not like me, as ever. Whatever. That was my B for staying in, I suppose. I pretty much asked for that. Oh, I'm getting a little tired, actually. <laughs> um, what's next? Alright, where's Cash? Go! You can Earthquake this Clang Clang. Go! That won't hurt me. Go for Scrafty. Excellent. Now I can take it out myself if you do not. Oh, damn it. That was experience I could have had. Where? You know, it'd be funny if you could get experience off of your allies' Pokemon, actually, because then you'd actually be inclined to take them out. <laughs> I know that's not really something that you should be encouraging, but still, it'd be funny if you did. Alright. Level up. Sweet. Togekiss. That means there's more. Electrode. Perfect. I can Earthquake and it won't hurt Togekiss. Not bad. Yeah, boy. Dazzling Gleam. Blinding. I keep forgetting that's good on this field. This field actually appears pretty regularly. I've grown to quite like this field, especially because of how useful it is for my neck trick. <laughs> Alright, we took him out. You're already faltering. Is Kiki smiling right now? Shut up. Say her name one oh, say her name one more time and see what happens. Hmm. Is that what Kiki wants? Oh. Well, even I can't say he didn't deserve that. Let's go. 
One of the superiors gave us a little bit of info on her. Well, all of you. I guess some of them decided to put it to use. <laughs> Not bad. I know I'm disappointing her right now. This isn't how she taught me. But at the same time, I can't just let these people get away with what they did. I will never, ever forgive them. That's why... Or... Eh? The exit! It's completely sealed? Ah, move! Embor! Go on. We'll be fine. Hurry! Oh no, don't... Vero, are you there? Is everything okay? It sounded pretty loud up there just now. I really hope that Absol wasn't forewarning her death. Please, no. So, Victoria stayed behind. As long as she's with her Pokemon, I'm sure she'll be fine. There's still no sign of Adrian or Army. This hasn't gone planned at all. But you're close to the top now. There might be something there. Let's get through this and save everyone. Oh, boy. So, I'm on my own. And... Um, Ame and Adrian are nowhere to be seen. That... Oh, shit, why did I do that? That's actually pretty suspicious. Like, I know Adrian wouldn't do anything, and I don't see why Ame would do anything either, but that just seems kind of suspect to me. That they're just not here when we need them most, really. Did you think coming... Oh, did you come here thinking you'd find something helpful? Well, there may be something in the, uh, the, the canister right there, buddy. Roth. Cloister. Alright, I'm gonna use Psychic. Goodbye. I probably won't take you out, actually, but... Oh, wow, it did. Nice. I knew you had bad special defense, but I still didn't think it would actually take it out. Alright, this is a job for Whizcash. And Whizcash is not holding an item. I forgot to sort that out. I'm going to have to do that after this battle. I did not know that Zeb Striker could learn Overheat. That's very interesting. Goodbye. Alright, what's next? Um. Alright. Gothitelle. Okay, uh, that sounds like an Umbreon thing to do. Umbreon's level's getting fairly high now, but I don't mind. Honestly. Because the higher I get Umbreon now, the better, because then I can keep Houndoom out for a while. I want I want to use all of my Pokemon. But I've, the, the trend I've noticed that whenever I want to put someone away, it tends to be either Houndoom or Umbreon. So really, I should just focus on giving them as much experience as possible while they're actually out. And just alternating between the two. Right, Kling Clang. This is, an, this is a good thing for Wizcash as well, but Lucario would probably do a better job. So Lucario, go. Aura Sphere. Aura. There we go. Excellente. And now that the X is completely sealed, I have absolutely no opportunity to change my Pokemon or Lucario's nature. Not bad. Of course, we've already lo relocated everything we need. Oh god. Both of our projects are safe and sound. Oh, well, it seems coming here was completely pointless then, wasn't it? Um. Oh, wait. Oh, I can go here. Hello. That was an accident. Ah. Ah, okay. I got it. Yeah. I like this puzzle. It's very basic, but it's pretty fun. You really should have known better than to trust an anonymous tip. Yeah. Um. Thinking about it, why did they? I'm pretty much just here because they asked me to help. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Why did they listen to an anonymous tip? I think something's going on here. I can't help but feel like someone's going to betray us. I, I, honestly, Ark stayed behind. Ark is the one that gave the radio to Arme. And Ark is the only one besides me who's safe right now. He's also the one... Oh, actually, I don't think... No, Arme's the one that mentioned the anonymous tip, I think, actually. But right now, Ark is proving to be mighty suspect to me. 
Oh yeah, I have a bunch of hyper potions now. Great, I needed these. For situations just like this. Amazing! Alright, let's bite it. This episode has been going on for a while, actually. I should probably do something about that. <laughs> Goodbye, Bohemian. What's next? Yan Mega. Alright, that's the main neck trick thing. Just gonna discharge this thing real quick. Get out of here, bug brain. Whoa! Dead. Well, not dead, but you know, dead. It's, it's not dead, dead, but it's dead. Do you get what I mean? It's sort of dead, but it's not really dead. You dead me? Uh, Alakazam. This is asking for some bites, but Umbreon needs healing again in case that thing knows Focus Blast or something. Which it does indeed. That might take me out. No, it will not. <laughs> Alright, that's fine with me. Because that means I can now use another one. And it shouldn't do half of my health, so I can just use another bite, which is completely A-OK. -okay. And if you miss, that's even better. Oh, all that too. That that works too. I'll just bite you then. If you want to keep using energy ball, that's fine with me. You do that. I do not care. Because I can just bite and win. Watch this crit now. Alright, good. What's he got? Venomoth. Espeon, one psychic from you should take this thing down. Good night. Excellent. And his last mon is Ferrothorn. I think my Nectric can handle this, don't you guys? I think you already know what's coming here. Blah! Fuck out. <laughs> Excellent. That went swimmingly. But it's too late, you're already trapped. I noticed. Every step, no, every breath you've taken has been scripted. Okay. Well, I'm up to the fifth floor in Devon, uh, and it's been almost an hour, so I think I'm going to end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like rating to show your support for the playthrough. Be sure to leave a comment, leaving tips, opinions, advice, and letting me know about any event Pokemon I've must missed up to this point. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of Pokemon Reborn, as well as more content like this. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Until then.